Yes, sir. Excellent. So if you just go on Google, uh, just type Chrome extensions, it will take you to the, uh, it will show you the link uh, for uh, Chrome Web Store. Okay. And uh, if you click on this Chrome extension, uh, you can, uh, on the left hand side, you can search for the extensions. Okay. So if you're using Google Chrome browser, then search for this uh, Google Meet attendance uh, extension that you can add to Google Meet. Okay. The one that you want is the Alan Kohi one. Okay. This is the one that works the best. Okay. So I have attached it to my Google Meet. So Abhi just aapko mera screen dikra hoga. Uh, mere screen mein yaha par ek tab aara hai jis mein class list dikri hai. Okay. So what happens is uh, every time I uh, log out from this uh, meeting, automatically it saves the Excel file. Okay, so let me show you one example uh, of my class yesterday. Kal meri class thi subeh, to maine first lecture liya tha. So first lecture 9:57 ko main exit kiya, to 9:57 ko ek file save ho gayi yahan pe. Okay, so is file mein it is an Excel file, and in this Excel file, actually I'm seeing a lot of names because I'm in lot of classes and. I was addressing a lot of meetings, but uh, we will note that the kids who class in class have a tick mark hai, and uh, the in time and out time is shown. Okay. So uh, mostly what I do is uh, I am just marking attendance from this Excel file because I have added this uh, extension to my Google Meet. Okay. And the extension add is very easy. Hai. Once you find it, all you have to do is you have to just click on uh, you know, add extension. And uh, automatically it adds to your uh, Google Meet. So agli bar aap log out login karenge, to automatically aapko dikhayega yahan pe, hai na? And there is a button here that uh, asks me if I want it to be shown or not. If I choose this plus sign off, then wo gaya ho jata hai. And then if I keep the plus sign on, then it appears while I'm uh, doing the meeting. Okay. Uh, so this is one of the ways you can do. And uh, you can see jahan uh, jahan jo jo bache aaye hain. Unke aage tick mark hai, unka uh, timing hai, theke? So for me, until now, I have had no issue with this app, okay? Again, it is the one with the Alan Kohi one, okay? So you have to make sure, because kahi apps ke naam same hai, uh, Google Meet attendance, but you want the one with Alan one, okay? Uh, this is one way you can do it. Uh, if you have any doubts, whether this one is working or not, then what you can do is, simple strategy would be to just uh, record the lecture, for let's say one minute you record it and while you are recording the one minute lecture aap yahan pe apne jaise mera screen dikh raha hai people pe tab mein jaiye aur halke se isko scroll kar dijiye to aapko sare naam dikh jayenge hai na so again even if there are 100 students and you record the lecture for even one minute to aapka sara attendance uska record ho jayega aapko sabke naam bulane ki zarurat nahi hai theek hai aur wo automatically aapka jo presentation hai wo aapke google drive mein upload ho jayega hai na so uh, that is one way to do it. Aap bas ek minute ke liye record karlo, yahan pe naam scroll karlo, aur sare aapke naam record ho jayenge. And then later on when you mark attendance online, you can just look at the recording and mark it. Theek hai? Third way to do it is just take the screenshot. Aap yahan pe dekh rahe hain, jaise mera screen hai, main iska screenshot liya, yahan par uh, idhar gaye, PowerPoint khola, basically paste it, mere naam dikh rahe hain. Then I open another sheet, I scroll down a little bit, and uh, and again, I uh, record the attendance. So again, uh, the idea is that you don't need to spend 10, 12 minutes to mark the names. If you class 60, 70 bachche hai, so that doesn't make any sense. Why to spend 5, 10 minutes taking attendance? Okay. In online teaching, mein time is very little. So um, uh, these are just simple hacks you can do. Okay. Uh, if the Chrome extension works fine, it's fine. Agar for some reason, if you don't Chrome extension, then you can just take a screenshot or make a minute ka recording and scroll your names in it. And that way you can have a, have a record of that day's class. And you can see here, it's very simple. Uh, while uh, taking the class also, I can save attendance. Let me try to save it. Let's see, it is saving here. Okay, let's open it and see if everyone comes in it. जैसे नवीन बहुगुना यहां पे दिखा रहा है इन टाइम आउट टाइम लॉग आउट हो गए होंगे एस्तुदी चंद्रा इज देयर डॉक्टर गुलशन चौहान ही केम फॉर अ वाइल ही वाज टॉकिंग टू मी 
so sarika devi is here so so i mean it seems to be working for me okay ronak gupta was here jis jiske naam hai sab amit kumar ji ka naam aa raha hai mukesh kumar to aap dekhiye aapka chrome extension kaam kar raha hai ki nahi aur mera to kaam kar raha hai and that is the easiest way kyunki excel ka record save ho jata hai and then uh, there is nothing to worry about okay okay i think uh, regarding attendance is pretty okay hai na so uh, now let me talk about the other things that uh, people brought up one thing was about the video lectures okay now uh, i have been trying a lot of strategies to develop the video lectures theek hai main har semester do teen class padhata hu and uh, i am also trying to keep a resource for myself so that future mein mere liye kaam aaye acha so i have some uh, experience as to what to do what not to do of course hum sab faculties hain sabka apna apna preference hai so you can follow your own strategy okay now i will show you what strategy i am doing okay what i do is mera google classroom maine create kar rakha hai theek hai hamara kya hota hai ki hamara pcm teen alag alag section hai theek hai to hamare teen alag section create ho rakhe hain lekin because meri class teenon mein chal rahi hai to i have created a google classroom this is my google classroom okay isme teeno section ke bacche present hai theek hai now uh, what i have done is uh, previously what i was trying to do is uh, main class leta tha bachcho ki एंड क्लास लेने के बाद क्लास में बहुत डिस्कशंस होते थे और उससे मुझे बहुत आइडिया मिलता था कि मैं वीडियो लेक्चर में क्या बोलूँ क्या नहीं बोलूँ ठीक है एंड उसके बाद मैं वीडियो लेक्चर बनाता था क्लास के बाद और फिर मैं 20 मिनट का वीडियो लेक्चर ऐसे कुछ डालता था फिर मेरे को रियलाइज हुआ कि उसमें बहुत एफर्ट लग रहा है ठीक है बिकॉज एक तो आप क्लास पढ़ाओ उसके लिए क्लास प्रिपेयर करो ठीक है चार पाँच घंटे वहाँ से जा रहे हैं उसके बाद आप वीडियो उसके बाद बनाओ या पहले बनाओ तो उसमें और एफर्ट लग रहा है okay so what i have realized is uh, the best uh, and quickest strategy for me that is working is i record my video on google meet theek hai so what i am doing from uh, for my classes now is jab main google meet pe class leta hu to main record button press kar deta hu and i am preparing my lecture in such a way that i know ki later on mujhe isko edit karna hai theek hai so uh, meri class थोड़ा इंटरेक्टिव भी होती है मैं बच्चों से क्वेश्चन भी पूछता हूँ बच्चों बच्चे मुझसे क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं एंड uh, जब मैं वो क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन करता हूँ तो मैं पॉजिज लेके करता हूँ ताकि मैं उसको बाद में एडिट कर लूँ ठीक है सो व्हाट आई डू इज जैसे ये सेशन रिकॉर्ड हो रहा है आई हिट द रिकॉर्ड बटन एंड आई कंडक्ट माई एंटायर क्लास मेरी क्लास uh, में पावर पॉइंट बने रहते हैं लाइक दिस इज माई पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन राइट सो अगर मैं अभी इसको फुल स्क्रीन कर रहा हूं तो आप लोगों को शायद ये क्लास जैसे क्लास चल रही होगी तो फुल स्क्रीन दिखेगा लेट मी ट्राई टू डू इट राइट सो दिस हैज द स्टफ फ्रॉम द लास्ट क्लास ठीक है तो ये मेरी पिछली क्लास थी आई आई मेड दिस पीपीटी एंड सम ऑफ इट वाज रिटन बिफोर हैंड सम ऑफ द डेरिवेशन जैसे ये प्रॉब्लम हमने फर्स्ट ईयर का है तो इट इज वेरी इजी स्टफ सो ये रियल uh, टाइम हमने सॉल्व किया था ठीक है एंड uh, तो ऐसे अब जैसे मैंने ये क्लास कर रहा था तो मैंने एक प्रॉब्लम दी बच्चों को मैंने बोला बच्चों ये तुम्हारी प्रॉब्लम है इसको सॉल्व करो ठीक है तो आई गेव देम टू टू फाइव मिनट्स टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम आफ्टर दे वर डन विद इट देन आई सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम फॉर देम ओके नाउ वंस द लेक्चर वॉज ओवर बट आई डिड वॉज द पार्ट वेर आई हैव गिवन देम द टाइम एंड एवरी वो मैंने सारा एडिट कर दिया ठीक है एंड वट हैपन इज जैसे ये मेरी पूरी रिकॉर्डिंग है this recording was about 50 55 minutes after editing which i have done uh, here you can see this is the software theek hai this is a software which is called shortcut ye online free milta hai to isme maine beech mein tum aapko dikhega yahan pe there are cuts in the section uh, you can see uh, yahan pe beech mein cuts hai right so uh, what i have done is um, i have taken unwanted sections out of the things okay ठीक है तो ये ये लेक्चर चल रहा है अभी आई एम स्पीकिंग एंड वी वर डूइंग दिस डेरिवेशन सो जहां जहां मुझे एडिट करना था मैंने वो एडिट करके निकाल दिया सो so इवेंचुअली क्या हुआ कि मेरा टोटल लेक्चर फ्रॉम 50 मिनट्स हैज बिकम 28 मिनट्स और समथिंग ठीक है सो दिस वाज द स्ट्रेटजी आई हैव रियलाइज्ड कि इट इज बेस्ट फॉर मी एंड इट टेक्स द लीस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम 
कि इफ आई प्रिपेयर अ लेक्चर इन सच ए मैनर दैट आई कीप गुड पॉजिज वेर एवर आई वॉन्ट टू एडिट द लेक्चर एंड देन वट एवर इज अनवॉन्टेड एरिया वेर एवर आई एम गिविंग स्टूडेंट्स क्विज और आई एम लेटिंग दैम सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम दैट आई कैन एडिट आउट फ्रॉम द फाइनल कट बिकॉज वो ऑनलाइन डाल के कोई फायदा नहीं है साठ मिनट का लेक्चर आप ऑनलाइन डालोगे बच्चा बोर हो जाएगा ठीक है सो अभी क्या हो रहा है मैं इस यहाँ से जैसे ही रिकॉर्डिंग खत्म होती है द एंटायर रिकॉर्डिंग गोज टू गूगल ड्राइव देन वट आई डू इज आई डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम गूगल ड्राइव ऑन माई कंप्यूटर वंस आई डाउनलोडेड इट ऑन माई कंप्यूटर आई गो टू द एडिटिंग सॉफ्टवेयर आई एडिट ऑल द अनवॉन्टेड स्टफ आउट एंड आई हैव रियलाइज दैट नाउ माई लेक्चर्स इफ यू सी द लेंथ ऑफ द लेक्चर्स दैट इज कमिंग फॉर एवरी डेज क्लास is about um, it's about uh, 27 to 28 minutes theek hai and uh, initial classes mein mere lecture cut ke 20 minute ho rahe the kyunki starting starting mein slow tha thoda theek hai aur uske pehle jab main first year ko padha raha tha in the foundation class it was almost like only 30 minutes or you know even less than that 20 minutes some some places were like uh, only 18 minutes because uh, i was taking the class very very slow एंड आई रियलाइज की आपकी जो ऑनलाइन रिकॉर्डिंग है वो आप इतना स्लो बनाओगे तो आप भी सो जाएंगे कोई फायदा नहीं होगा बनाकर ठीक है सो देर इज लॉट ऑफ अनवॉन्टेड सेक्शन इन योर रिकॉर्डिंग यू कैन जस्ट एडिटेड कट पेस्ट करके उसको डिलीट कर सकते हो कंसाइज फॉर्मेट में आप वीडियो लेक्चर डाल सकते हो ठीक है सो वंस आई एडिटेड आउट द अनवॉन्टेड सेक्शन देन आई क्रिएटेड द वीडियो फाइल ठीक है uh now once i created the video file the file size was about 200 mb theek hai now uh, there are free softwares available on google if you just type uh, you know google.com pe chalte hain there are softwares which are called uh, you know compress video file okay compress video online there are couple of ones uh, this clidio is there and free convert is there so all you have to do is uh, you drag and drop your file here and this automatically compresses the file okay so you won't believe it the file size for my entire recording now uh for each lecture let me show you is uh, about uh, you know like 30 mb for a 20 minute lecture and 50 mb for a for a you know for a 30 35 minute lecture okay so it's very compact size it is easily uh, movable from one place to the other problem nahi hai ki 2 gb 3 gb ka size hai aur ye sari cheeze maine eliminate kar di theek hai so in the end i am getting each lecture of, of size only about 56 57 mb theek hai and uh, and that is useful because uh, of course hamare paas itna space to hai nahi ki 2 2 gb 4 4 gb ki file create kare right so uh, that is the strategy i am using i upload it then compress it then again download it back so it is a it takes me about 4 um, to 5 hours to edit each video of each uh, lecture so it is a very very taxing job theek hai so agar aapko properly karna hai aur video lecture banana hai so it it takes a minimum 4 to 5 hours of editing to you know bring the file size down Uh, मैं अपना गूगल क्लासरूम में मेंटेन कर रहा हूँ सो वट आई डू इज इफ यू गो इन क्लास वर्क वट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन क्रिएट टैब्स एंड यू कैन पोस्ट मटीरियल अंडर द टैब्स ओके सो लेट मी शो यू क्विकली द गूगल क्लास रूम हाउ आई एम मेंटेनिंग इट ओके दोज हु आर न्यू कैन कैन अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम इट सो वेन एवर आई पोस्ट मटीरियल आई कैटेगराइज दैम इन वट एवर category they belong to suppose i am posting videos like i just uh, was talking about uh, i have edited the videos now they are down to uh, you know only like 28 minutes or something from a 55 minute lecture and uh, that is something that students can digest online too you know and um, uh, once i have uh, uploaded it uh, on youtube uh, i am creating i have created a channel where i upload it and once i have uploaded there and i get the link so i just uh, post that link on my google classroom and uh, then the students here can just click on this link and they can open the the video lecture okay so for those who are having connectivity issues this is the only way to solve the problem because uh, what happens is when you are speaking in the class and you are conducting a lecture due to connectivity issues you know sometimes what happens is you are speaking 
they can hear one sentence and the next sentence they cannot hear okay and um, sometimes there is lag in the video and audio and um, sometimes they get disconnected they have to connect back again so that is a real issue and uh, uh, this is not something you know the students are responsible or we are responsible this is just the nature of things okay there is nothing you can do about it we don't have that much uh, advanced connectivity in our in our country yet so uh, uh, more and more of these issues exist right uh, even in the advanced countries they also are facing issues like this so even us is facing issues like this there are people uh, with different poverty backgrounds and so so everybody will always be uh, y- y- having this issue uh, even 10 years from now okay so the only way that uh, this can be tackled is if you provide the video lecture to the students okay now uh, once you provide the video lectures then they can uh, watch it later whenever they have good connectivity or they can go to the cafe and watch whatever then it's up to them okay because you have provided the material from your end it's up to them whether they watch it or not it's up to them where, how they see it whether they use a friend or whatever because we cannot control all the situations but at least we have provided them with the material that you know whatever lecture was covered they can see it right and hence that's why i reached to the idea of doing it on uh, on google meet itself because um, there is no um, there is not enough time to do it separately okay it takes a lot of time to uh, think about a lecture make a lecture and then you know edit it and all that stuff so uh, quickest way is just to record your actual lecture and then just edit it and post it okay now i have been doing is uh, like i said uh, google classroom mein aap jaoge so you can create all these uh, tabs so if you are creating lecture videos you can post the lecture videos uh, abhi meri char classes hui hai to maine char classes ke lecture video dal diye hain edit karke then uh, usually i do the presentation so i have created another tab where i do the presentations so you can see uh, the presentation that i have given it's there students can see it again the material is there for them so that they can easily access it right then um, uh, reference books i i had three reference books uh, physics mein to we have like uh, four or five reference books for each subject so that we are teaching so i have uploaded them as well so they can they can download it from there and then there is a separate tab for the practical one that we are doing okay now uh, for now what we are doing is uh, the submissions that are happening we are collecting it on google uh, itself right so for example uh, i had created a quiz and uh, it's a, a very easy option you go to classwork you can just create uh, and create a quiz assignment so um, i have created a quiz which uh, students have attempted okay and uh, they get to see the link as well you click on the link and uh, you should be able to see the questions and um, once you answer the questions as a student uh, the faculty basically sees the responses okay so google has this facility i can go and see the response of the students and um, it gives a summary which is very nice it shows me uh, uh, which question student had a problem with uh, which uh, question student got correct uh, the complete quiz marks are automatically calculated uh, i don't have to do any calculations when i created the quiz i had uh, mentioned which are the right answers which are the wrong answers so then the calculation is automatic and um, i get to see uh, each question how many people got it right how many people got it wrong so for example uh, the first question 7 out of 12 were correct so i can see that five people got it wrong so this would be a interesting uh, problem to discuss in class right whereas uh, some problem for example here uh, i am seeing a problem which 11 out of 12 students have got it correct so it hardly matters I, everybody is getting it correct so i don't need to discuss this in class okay so uh, by looking at the quiz it gives you an idea which problem students are facing and which problems you can discuss in class with them right so i had a problem the last problem you know many students got it wrong so only 5 out of the 12 students have got it right so this was the problem i discussed in length in my lecture so that uh, you know uh, i can bring everybody who got it wrong up to speed as to you know uh, the uh, concepts we were discussing okay so ye quiz ka jo option hai it is a very very good option to have okay so i would uh, uh, insist ki you use the google form option to create quiz okay so it's a wonderful resource right because the feedback you get 
is is the is the most valuable one to to address and uh, help the students okay like this problem i have already answered uh, given the answer key and uh, and that's how it uh, it calculates automatically which is right which is wrong and uh, one thing you can do is every time you create a google form what it does is it saves this form somewhere in the google drive okay now what i have done is uh, i worked uh, uh, from the other way around okay what i did was first i went to my drive okay in my drive what i did was you can go ahead and create a, a folder which is something like quiz okay now what it is was inside this quiz folder i created my class okay which is my for example let's say solid state physics class okay now inside the solid state physics folder i created my quizzes okay so every quiz i have given is already stored inside my google drive in a particular folder okay so when i teach this course next semester i don't have to go back and search where the uh, you know the quizzes are okay because if you don't categorize them in your google drive it will just store them randomly okay and then uh, most of us will teach the same course in in a in a 6 months or 8 months time and then uh, i realize you know you will be searching for the, that one quiz you have created it is somewhere sitting somewhere and uh, you don't know what to do with it so the strategy i have done is i went to my google drive first i created folders where i want to keep the quiz and that way all my quizzes are uh, uh, kept separately so under quiz folder i have created my class which was foundation class or which was solid state physics class and then i have my mechanics class so now the mechanics quiz i am creating under my mechanics class so it is uh, always here you know so i don't have to go somewhere and look for it okay and uh, it's very easy to create quizzes like this suppose i have a quiz created and uh, all you can do is uh, if you hit this three dots you can just say make a copy and it asks you which folder you want to save it okay so now it is asking me do you want to save it in this folder mechanics so i can say yeah I'll save it in this folder i just just rename this to you know the third quiz number suppose i want to give it the third quiz like this and i just click okay and then it automatically creates that quiz in that particular folder you see so now it is always there in the folder i don't have to search where it has gone and uh, that way it will save me time you know in when i teach the class next time because i can replicate the quiz the quiz gets completely replicated and i can create a new link and send it back again okay so uh, it's some of these things i've done to uh, uh, store material in a, in a manner that it will help me you know later on when i teach the same course it will it will be very useful for me okay 